All right, guys, so we are sanitized, hand washed, and everything, and we are ready to go again with a big bad chef. All right. All right, so what we have on the menu right now today? What are we working on? So, this one now, we're gonna do traditional fish in coconut sauce. And I hear that this one of the best sellers. If I'm to be honest, I always say it's on my blog, you know. I'm not really a fan of the aquatic creature called fish. <laughs> you understand? But I will eat it and appreciate it. And I have had this one, I think, the first night. And I will tell you, man, the sauce on it is really, really, All really right. good. Alright, so these are some of the ingredients that um, they use. As I always say on the videos, fresh produce that it's they best. make on their farm and it is best all right, all right. so you want to see the fish this is pimento okay both sides salt this man is too masterful you know because you see goes my hand the whole pot of salt yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if that has ever happened to you guys drop it in the comments <laughs> Black pepper. Black pepper. Alright. Good size. And some dried basil. Oh, so dried basil? Yeah. Okay. That's for the polar seasons. Alright. Should make the sauce first. And for the coconut sauce now. Okay. This is anato oil. Anato oil. Yes. So all those locals who know anato. Yeah. We just soak them in some corn oil. Okay. So they infuse all of it. Alright. So we're gonna use this to saute the herbs and spices for the fish. That. So first we're gonna add some chopped garlic. So we're now gonna tell them what that secret ingredient is, you know. And <laughs> I forgot to let this part out. Yeah. You know. So I understand we don't want nobody can cook it you know. Anyway. No, even if they put the exact same thing, it would, it would never taste. It would never taste the same, yeah. exactly. I know. Never it's like when your grandmother gave the whole recipe book. <laughs> I don't want to know what's happening. Alright. Onions. Onions. Nice. Oh wow! It smells lovely already. You know, so the chef show off. The chef is a show off chef, you know. You know how much people try this at home and show everything. <laughs> First time. So you realize what the chef just did a while ago. It's a quick way to actually coat everything yeah. in the oil very quickly. You know, yes, it does add a little flair to cooking, but there's actually a purpose in why they actually do that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna get that is some rich coconut milk. And I'm getting that from the farm. Also from the farm. Gotcha. Giant coconut. So the anato oil gives it that nice, pretty and yeah. rich color. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And the beautiful chef over here, what is she working on right now? Nice and peace. Jeez. So are you, but me that big up the other chef and say, <laughs> it's, it's like him, um, him no. granny hand, is your hand? No, because that was chef this morning. Okay. So we changed shift. The chain shift. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have some rice. I have a question, you know. What kind of rice is this? That's the grey spot rice. Okay, the regular grey. The, the long grain rice. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, so over here now 
You know what's funny guys, this dish looks very simple to make, you know, but yeah. boy. Last but not least, the scotch bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper. Wow. So, I know on some nights you guys might have like a hundred heads. Yeah. You know, to, to um, actually feed. How much, how much of that hundred would be the coconut fish? Eighty. Eighty? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then onto the sauce. Salt. Yeah. Pimento. Pimento, okay. So salt, pimento, and your black pepper. Wow. And I realize how thick it gets yeah. with the real coconut yes, milk. Yes. Some people have added a little bit of flour. No, 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 no. no flour. Wow. Simmer, okay. Heat, the thing, you know, that like, coconut milk is very oily, right? Yeah, so if you had it at too much of a high heat, it will separate before it comes together. Okay, yeah. so you, you know, say, you know, say, you know, that joke, chef. No, He's not a joke chef man because I hear the way where you speak about the oils and what oils retain a certain amount of temperature, yeah. certain heat. Um, yeah. yeah, because I, I used to make, I make coconut fish, you know. And I do see the separation in the oil and from the coconut yeah. milk. So, like what temperature are you looking at? You're looking at like a low heat, medium or low heat? Medium to low. Medium to low. Yeah. All right, guys. Just for I, a light simmer. Guys, may I give you an early behind the scenes access to how yeah. to make this at home? You know, it won't taste as good, but you have a little, you know. Give it a little taste. All right, perfect. All right. A little more salt. For the real Jamaicans, you know, there's a little bit more pepper. A little bit more pepper to it. Yeah. And you know, us Jamaicans like our yeah, fish and more the spices. So. That is correct. That is correct. So, you guys can realize how much attention to detail that they actually put into the food. The ground basis of any good dish is usually from the farm, like it or not. So it has to be fresh fish, it has to be fresh ingredients or else you're going to have an issue. What I like about this hotel is that they use a sustainable method where basically everything that they get is within a 20 mile radius of the hotel. So that means that everybody who is a farmer or they have their farms or whatever gets included in the hospital industry. Which is a main thing that you know we need to have included. Because in Jamaica, you might find a lot of hotels these days are not even Jamaican ones. Yeah. You know, so whenever you do, a person's always ask me the restaurants I go to if they are Jamaican owned. Well, like, I'm proud to say that this one is Jamaican owned. And, you know, they involve everybody in making it a quality product. Wow. Cheese. This look rich. And for the fish, you know, if you add the sauce, you know, give it a light like, seal. So, all right, here's the money question now. Why for this you use the margarine and not the, the anchor? Butter, you know, so butter is made from milk, right? Butter is made from milk, yeah. yeah. You cannot really get that the high temperature. Yeah. So it's it gonna burn Bur too, it got burn too yeah. quickly, yeah. yeah. So you want more of an oil-based yeah. type of... Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not that easy, chef, you know. Uh, you might you might be wondering you know why am i raving about the chefs and you know their knowledge and whatever is because i spoke to the owner earlier today and he was mentioning to me that a lot of the staff came here from a very young age you understand and they helped to the put them under their tutelage and teach them the cooking you know methods so they're not just cooking based off of what they were taught they know the process and the procedure and why each ingredient is treated as such you understand Alright, so from the 
frying pan into the sauce. So virtually, when when my subscribers come to this restaurant now, they are getting their meals done from scratch. Yes, done to order. Done to order, everything. I like that. I love that. Five to six minutes. Five to six minutes, alright. Wow. Look at that. Just a compliment to you on that duck in the orange sauce. If you guys didn't check out that video, go back to it and watch it. Listen, from I've been here, you know, my stomach has not been empty, you know. And I was under the assumption that I would just try the dish, but I walked it off. Everything done. <laughs> what I really like is the marmalade. The marmalade does give that intense um, the orange flavor from it. Um, the duck was rendered very well. Was properly rendered, so I wasn't getting no fat, 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 as duck usually is. So it was really good. And then the potato. What I'm astonished about with your potato is that, brother, you just do a one, two mash and it's off. You don't understand. <laughs> Guys, in the comments, if you know that potatoes take a while to mash out everything to get the smoothness, drop it in the comments. This man just said so. One, two, three. Done. I'll chew out this. Yeah, man, it just shows years of dedication and you know perfecting the art all right the beautiful chef over here is now gratering some carrots, carrots. what are you making now making coleslaw for vegetables you're for making salad. some coleslaw yeah, for salad. so what would you say about the coleslaw now like is there any special method to getting your coleslaw the way that you have it well, try and get the carrots and the cabbage uniform as much as you can. Yeah. When you blend it in, everything just blend in. Blend in properly? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll definitely try some of your coleslaw tonight. Okay. All right. Um. Question now. So last night we, I had a, a steak and the sauce had a purplish color. Is that the red wine that causes that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but just want to make sure it's having a full food. Yeah, you know? they you know? caramelized onions and the mushroom with the red wine. Yes. The you know, I saw something where someone said mushroom can create a purplish color. Yeah. Wow. Just want them know so not too too, you know, behind time. Yes. Alright, so what else are you working on now? Do some fish, some fish. Okay, some vegetable with the fish. All right. Time. Guys, if you appreciate seeing some behind the scenes of how a Jamaican kitchen operates that makes high quality food, drop a like on the video, drop a comment on anything else you want to see, and if we can make it possible, we we'll make it possible. Not one green pepper drop out. Not no waste no food. No sir. You know what I mean? Say me telling that I put you up on the spot and make you nervous. And the man still not drop off food. So get used to it. Yeah man.
let's get ready to go plate. Move a couple of times. So see, let me cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, no. Sunday, so you know, it's Sunday, so traditional rice and peas. Correct. Um, for those persons who might not know what rice and peas is, the foreigners from Australia or America or whatever, it's just rice, some red peas that's in some you know coconut milk. Uh, you know we have Jamaican spices like pepper, garlic, pimento, some salt. Very flavorful, very rich, and that is a very common staple here. Now we have that creamy coconut fish cheese let me tell you guys I had this I believe it was on the first night here I'll drop a link somewhere so you guys can check that video and my first impression the sauce was what took it just took the cake man the sauce is just really rich it's not very easily replicated at home definitely have to put some time into it Just pairing that with some sauteed vegetables. And when you're sauteing the vegetables, you don't want them to be soft. You like to be a snap when you bite into it. Um, in cuisine, we call that making it al dente. Look at that. I you know, so you're not play around with the garnishing, you know. Beautiful as the plate is now, he is going to add a couple more stuff to it. This is some fresh basil. Fresh basil. Oh, nice. Wow, look at that, guys. Masterfully done. A dish like this, prep time, how long are we looking at? Um, anywhere from 10. So that means when people come here to get their yeah. their meals, they are not waiting a year and six months to to get something to eat. All right. So what would what would the wait time be like? Because there's a hundred persons in here trying to get something to eat. Well, not a hundred, but yeah. whatever. A normal on a normal night, I say from salad to dessert, maybe thirty minutes, thirty-five minutes. Which is usually what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Alright guys, so I deliberately opted to take a sample plate because I've had this dish before but I want to have it straight off the fire because my stomach is full Nice kick with the spices to it That oil that they used to saute it with in the beginning, it's there, but it's not overpowering. And just the sauce, man, the sauce is so creamy, yo. Mm. Got a nice little bite of the basil just now. So good. Very Caribbean the flavors. Very Caribbean. have been blessed with some sunlight again and look at the sunset guys wow
All right, guys, so I'm happy that you guys might have gotten the opportunity to be in the kitchen with me today, um, behind the scenes to see how your food is being prepared here at the Sharela Inn in Negril, Jamaica on the Seven Mile Beach stretch. Now we're just catching a little sunset. You see how beautiful it is. I'm just praying to see what it does to touch my foot. Please, Lord. I got saved on that one just now. If you guys appreciate videos like these, again, drop a like on the video, share with the family member who might be traveling to Jamaica. Yeah, we know, know it's a pandemic at this moment, but you know, if you do think of traveling here, it's open for you guys. You can come here and just relax, have some good food, meet some good people, you know, and just take in the Jamaican atmosphere. Yes, I just got caught by the water, I feel it. Anyway. I won't extend this video anymore. If you got video suggestions or things you want to see, just drop it in the comments. But for now, remember these three things. Love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, <laughs> keep the link.